Good morning, IBC family. Welcome to your midweek devotion. So today I wanted to talk about how our belt keeps everything in place. So I keep circling back to Ephesians during my times with God, and I wanted to just highlight another piece of armor this week. So I'm going to start in Ephesians 6, verse 14. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. So the other day, my son had on a belt, and I asked him, why are you wearing a belt? Because he was in sweatpants. He wasn't in jeans. And he proceeded to tell me that he needed it for all of the weapons and tools he was going to have, right? So he proceeded to put all these weapons, like his Nerf gun and his little um, army sword or knife, in his tool belt, right? That's what he called it, his tool belt. But it was just belt. But he was putting them all in there. It's what he needed to have on in order to arm himself for his next adventure that he was going to go on at the park. Because without this belt, he wouldn't be able to take the weapons he wanted with him, which is what he proceeded to tell me. He's like, I need to be able to have it on me so I can grab it. And he was giving me the reasons why he required a belt. And this made me think of the Roman soldiers in Jesus' time and what they were dressed in from head to toe for battle all the time. But without their belt, right, they wouldn't be able to walk into the battle equipped with the necessary weapons that they required. The belt was vital to them. And so I'm just going to run through a few ways that the Roman soldier's belt actually benefited them the most in their in their uniform. So their swords hung in a scabbard that was clipped to the side of his belt. When not in immediate battle, their shield actually was hung on a special clip on the other side of their belt. And then the um, pouch that carried the arrows, I thought this was interesting, it rested on a small ledge that was attached to the belt on the back side. So even their breastplate that they had, had attachments to their belt in different places. And they called these belts the loin belts. And without this belt, they wouldn't have a place to attach any of these weapons. They wouldn't be able to take the weapons necessary for the battle head. Now, someone can argue, well, they could have held their, their shield and held their sword and, you know, put their arrows on a sling. But that wouldn't really allow you to move quickly and swiftly into the fight with precision, right? When you're trying to juggle all these items and trying to run. Therefore, you could say that this loin belt was one of the most important pieces of a soldier's uniform. So taking all this information in, right, you can see that it wasn't a coincidence that the very first piece of armor mentioned was the belt of truth. That's the first thing mentioned. And I think it's because it is the most vital part of the armor. Because without the truth of God wrapped around you, then all the other armor is really ineffective, right? When God's truth is center in your life, your foundation, then you know, first and foremost, that you are in him. When that belt of truth, when God's word is tightly wrapped around you, you know who you are. You know that you are the righteousness of God in Christ, right? And that is that understanding is the breastplate that covers you. The word of God then produces that sword, right? The sword of the spirit. That's the word of God coming out of you. It's that rhema word that the Holy Spirit quickens into your heart in time of need. It's that's the scripture you want. This is the word you want. That sword happens because that belt of truth is wrapped around you. When God's word or his truth is securely fastened, and it's just a part of you, your core, then it dominates your thinking, right? It gives you these shoes of peace to walk through any obstacle, right? That's how you can put on those shoes that I talked about last week because you have the word, just your core. It's constantly, the belt of truth is constant in your life. So you have these shoes of peace that you can walk through any obstacle and the word is what shields our mind like a helmet, right? Protecting our thoughts. You see, all those pieces of armor are only effective when we first have the belt of truth around us. So the word of God, the truth of his word, needs to become the very core of our life. It needs to be our center. If it isn't your foundation, then everything, then eventually everything you have will begin to, spiritually speaking, fall apart, right? Nothing is there to hold anything in place. Nothing else can withstand without this foundation. So God's word is our foundation. That truth is our core. So Matthew 7, 24 
gives us another glimpse into why this belt of truth is so vital. And we've all heard it before. The wise man built his house upon the rock, you know, and, and it stood. But I love how the passion puts this part of scripture. It says in this translation, everyone who hears my teaching, that is the truth of God's word. That's your belt, right? And applies it to their life. That's when you choose to strap it on and tighten that belt. So everyone who hears my teaching and applies it to his life can be compared, this is what he's comparing you to, to a wise man who built his house on an unshakable foundation. Once you hear God's word and you apply it, you strap that belt of truth on, now you're like a wise man. You've built your house. You've built everything that you're basing your life off of on an unshakable foundation. When the rains fell and the flood came with fierce winds beating upon his house, it stood firm because of its strong foundation. When you make God's word the core, the very center of all that you do, the choices you make, the words that you speak, the words that you meditate on day and night, that's what's going to make it possible for you to walk through some heavy storms in your life. It's what's going to make it possible for you to still know God is good and God is wonderful and God wants the best for you even when plans don't work out even when you have questions of why did this happen why why can I walk through that why why didn't this person you know do this why can't I have this it takes those questions and it it puts them away because we have such a core in God that we just can say I might not know why God but you're a good God and you're going to get me through this battle and we're going to come through the other side and you work all things out for my good it doesn't matter the why I know because my core foundation is in you. That's when you're on an unshakable foundation because all those rains and winds and, you know, things that happen in our life where we think, what happened? Why is this happening to me? We can stand strong because of our unshakable foundation. <clears throat> so this week, I want to give us the encouragement to strap on the belt of truth, make a conscious decision to put the word of God as the core of our life. Right? I just think of our earth. It has a core and everything revolves around that core, right? Um, make the choice this week to have the word of God be the most important piece of armor, the most important weaponry, and ensure that his word is priority. Not an afterthought. No, I should read the Bible. Oh, I was kind of busy today. I didn't really get to it or I read a scripture. No, it has to be priority. Not an afterthought. Not when I have time. Instead, prioritize it. Let the Holy Spirit guide you into what words are needed for the battle you have, right? For the battle you're going into, for the season that you're in. So that way you can have an unshakable and firm foundation as you walk through things in life. Then the rest of your armor will be ready and available to ensure that you will come through victorious every time. Have a great week. Bye.